Hello and welcome to the Student Kitchen. Today I'm joined by our local butcher Tony Perkins to talk about how students shopping on a budget can still buy high quality meat at their local butchers. So Tony, what is what is the best cuts of meat for a student to buy? Uh, well, personally, the uh, the best uh, the best thing for a student to buy who's maybe shopping on a budget um, don't go for the uh, don't go for the expensive items and, and try and make it work over, over a lot of people. Go for the cheaper cuts. Lots more flavour in them, um, and uh, you know they'll work well if they're treated right in the in the cooking process. They'll work really well. Um, there's loads of flavour in there. You can get the cheap, Cheap cuts of pork, very inexpensive, and work really well. So, what sort of cuts of meat are the more affordable ones? Um, well, from the uh, from the lower end of the range, if, if you want to call it that, the, the cheaper cuts would come into uh, stewing, um, casserole type uh, type meats. Uh, there are some cheap roasting joints as well. You know, belly pork, shoulder pork, um, and uh, you know, as long as they're treated right, they'll come out fine. Why is it important that we try and shop locally instead of going to the supermarkets? Because the supermarkets have all sorts of deals that are very appealing to students. Why is it that we should be shopping locally? Well, the, uh, the quality is, is the main thing, I would say. Uh, and also uh, the expertise that we can offer um, as advice to cooking. You know, you won't get that anywhere else. If you, you, know, you need to shop somewhere that knows. And also the provenance of what uh, what the product is, you know, I can say, you know, which which animal comes from which farm and that sort of thing. So it's very important. Um, you know, you only need to look back to last year this time. Uh, we had the horse meat scandal, and um, there was a lot, of, uh, a lot of thoughts about where things are coming from and do we know the original source of these animals and that sort of thing. If you go to a shop at a local independent butcher, I should know what he's talking about and where his meat comes from. So, can you tell us what some of these cuts are and what's best to do with these? Yeah, right? certainly. Well, from the uh, from the cheaper end, like I said, we've got uh, stew and beef there. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a great one for, for casseroles and uh, and stews. Little, a little will go a long way. You know, you can you can pack it out with vegetables to make it go a bit further. Good hearty meal, especially in the cold weather. Mm -hmm. Uh, mince, mince beef, mince steak, you know, good quality mince, it's very versatile, you can do loads with it, uh, you know, right from the, uh, the original student spank bowl, um, you know, shepherd's pies, college pies, lasagnas, uh, all those home homemade burgers as well, very trendy now, okay. Um, sausages, always good value, and always a winner, everybody loves sausages. Um, and as far as the roasting goes, you know, joints like a shoulder of pork there, really quite cheap, uh, roast really well, good crackling on it, great flavour too. So you the butchers don't just sell plastic beef, what else can a student get from the butchers? Well, we've, uh, we've got a great range of uh, cheeses, um, that's, uh, you know, quite a specialised thing with some of these products, uh, but we always cater for everybody. Uh, and there's, there's a good old fashioned mature cheddar in there yeah. as well. So you can get your, your specialist cheeses, and you can also get a good straightforward cheese that will cover uh, all your cooking things as well. Uh, loads, of, uh, loads of other things, cooked, cooked meats that we cook on the premises as well. Um, you know, very versatile, a couple of slices of ham to on the top of the pizza. Um, olives, we've also got some lovely pastry items there. Hot sausage rolls and a bacon roll you can get in the mornings as well. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, usually got a, a, a good range of condiments to go with that as well. You know, some specialist sauces, some really nice chili chili sauces as well. So it's not just you know, pork chops and mm. sausages you can get. You can get pretty much anything to go on the table if you ask. Yeah. So uh, Tony, you're one of our award winning local butchers. What sort of things have you won awards for over here? Um, well, the uh, the majority of the rosettes that you see in the shop uh, from the uh, from our from our animals that we source, um, a lot of awards there for our pigs. Really proud of our pork that we produce. Uh, there's some beef rosettes there that have won um, you know, the competition.
competitions. Uh, myself as a, as, a, as a butcher, our regional champion for, uh, for black pudding, so we make our own black pudding we're really very good. Uh, we've won awards for sausages, uh, scotch eggs, uh, and, and some bacon as well. We, we uh, own cure our own bacon. But, um, you know, if you go to a, a decent butcher, you'll get, yeah. you'll get decent quality for everything. Absolutely brilliant, Tony. Thank you very much. Okay.